the reason why I was able to deal with these women like that is because I understood how to keep them in orbit. And it's not about force. Just like you don't see no strings attached in space from the sun to the planets. I don't have no nothing attached to these women to keep them in orbit. It's a power that is unseen because it's spiritual. It's based on understanding. It's based on wisdom. That's how you keep it in order. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. You know, I seen Chrism Cure talking about this topic. Uh, this woman called Pearl something, some white chick that's a red pill type content creator. And she had some, some coon type ass nigga on there, um, Hafiz Boko or something like that, who, who does, basically he does all his old motivational chase money, worship money slash mixed in with religion type shit, right? Yeah, the worst kind of person, right? Anyway, he actually made a good point though on her show. He said that to me, when I hear all these red pill content creators that are females, to me, all they're doing is pandering. Now that was interesting that he used that word pandering. Pandering actually means to cater to or exploit certain weaknesses in people. That's what pander means. Look up, look up the Webster Marion Dictionary on, online. To, to cater to or exploit certain weaknesses in people. Now, I thought it was funny that he said that because when I listen to all of these women, to me, that's all they're doing. It's pandering. They always pat me on the back. It's always good. Oh, you okay? You're never wrong. You know what I'm saying? And to me, there's something missing in that, right? And what the brother said, he said, the reason why I say that, he said, because as females, if you're gonna talk about this kind of content, you should bring a little nuance to it. There is simply no way you can actually see this the same as I see it. You have to bring a different perspective to it. Whether it's right or wrong, you should bring a different perspective to it. Now that's very interesting because in my last video, I don't know what all of my posts is in, I did a video talking about, um, about why men should not follow women. And I was explaining that women just by nature, by natural design, they're gonna address things differently. So when you hear a woman that just spewing out all of the talking points of the red pill slash manosphere verbatim, you know something is wrong because there's simply no way she could look at it that, like that. There's something wrong. And I didn't want to be rude, you know, I, 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 Crimson actually gives me content, right? She gives me ideas. I don't dislike, I don't really listen to all she says because like I said, she goes on, she goes live three times a day just, just digging in black women's asses. Not that nothing she says is wrong about the black women. She don't lie at all about it. But it just, it, it gets cringy after a while. Like, how can you do this literally three times a day, five days a week? I don't understand how you can do this for an hour, an hour each time. You know, I, I don't, I don't know how she can do that. But I do know it's profitable for her. And that's the thing, right? See, we don't want to call a spade a spade. This is simply business for her. So that means she actually is catering to and exploiting the weaknesses of those kinds of men for profit that's what she's doing she is pandering that's what she's doing right by definition now the thing about this is what i don't like about it is that what you are missing is the little nuances in reality right they are certain things that the women say that is right there are certain things that those women say that y'all be ragging on, that y'all, that go viral. There are certain things that they say that y'all really should consider. Some things is not even about a right and wrong. 
sometimes it's just about different perspectives, different viewpoints, different lights. You need to learn from all of this. When that sister said that she went on a sexual hiatus, right, for three months, and said she's about to come off and act bad, she gonna let some dudes run a train on her. Dudes went crazy. Oh man, what kind of bitch? See, this is wrong with women. This is wrong with women right here. But hold on. What's wrong with the sister being a freak? Is that not her right? If she is not your speed, don't bother with it. Because trust me, she wasn't a bad looking sister. She gonna get that train ran on. Because she's not a bad looking chick, she's gonna get them in the But what you need to do is understand that this is how women think underneath. That, that you do have a pocket of women that think like that. That, that like being freaks like that. You need to understand it instead of being mad at it. You dudes are too reactionary. You need to listen sometimes to what women say. You know what I'm saying? When women tell you that they're not interested in the man money, y'all don't want to hear that. Oh, they lying. Or you got to be rich. You got But they telling you they don't care about the money. But yeah, but this woman did see y'all find some bitch on TikTok. And that's the video y'all y'all video y'all hold on to. But for every one woman that you can find that talk about money, 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 six figures this, six figures that, you can find 80 women that's going to say, that don't matter. But you won't hear that because you are stuck in a certain mindset and what you are looking for is information that, 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 uh, uh, that verify what you want to believe. And women like, uh, I'm not gonna say her name, she actually panders to that. She caters to that and she exploit that for her own financial gain. That's what she do. All you're doing is focusing on those that say exactly what you want them to say how you want them to say it. They are pandering to you. But the panderers do you no good. You do them good. Your clicks, views, likes, super chats, you know, uh, super things, all this shit is income for them. It's income. So they, they'll go up there, they'll say exactly what you want to hear because it's income for them. I'm not doing this for income. I'm getting attacked from all sides. Already, I got men attacking me, women attacking me, <laughs> religious people attacking me. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Black people attacking me. I guess I pissed off some white people already too. You know what I'm saying? I'm making everybody mad. You know why? Because I'm telling the truth. When you're telling the truth, you're gonna piss everybody off. When you're telling the truth, you're not gonna be on nobody's side because you're standing on the side of righteousness. You're standing on the side of truth. You're standing on the side of God. I, I, I don't want to be all religiosity and shit like this, you know. But you're standing on the side of Allah. When you standing on truth, you got nothing behind you but the creator. That's it. That's it. So you, you got to wonder, why would a woman take on the responsibility of catering to black to men like that without giving some nuance to how women feel about things that men might not be considering? Because that's what they should be doing also. They can do both sides. I'm trying to do both sides. But how about telling me what women feel also? I've been considering doing a video for some weeks now. You know, I even got the title in my head, like, you know, you got a freak or the keeper. A lot of dudes don't understand that, you know, y'all think of sex as a one-way street. Like, you know, the woman's supposed to just give you pleasure. Dude even said that to me. She gives you pleasure. Dude, she gets pleasure from that. When the last time, you know, have you ever touched a woman's pussy while she's sucking your dick? That thing be gushing because she likes it. If she like you, every lick on that stick makes her wetter. The thought that you about to beat it up makes her wet. You dudes are tripping. She is not giving you anything. She is getting pleasure. You are not giving her anything. You are getting pleasure. Because the pleasure for both of us is self-achieved. She gets her pleasure by pleasuring you. You get your pleasure by pleasuring her. You both are winning. But y'all talk about sex like it's a one-way street. Like it's just something you get. She give to you. That's not what it is. Y'all looking at that wrong. And because you don't understand that, you don't understand how much women like 
having sex. You don't understand how much women like being girls. A real woman like her girl parts. They like being girls. A real woman loves being a girl. So you don't want to stifle that in no kind of way. So you need to understand what goes on inside the mind of a woman so that if you ever meet a woman that you actually aren't interested in, you have some understanding of what's the undercurrent that might be going on, how she feels. She could be a mild-mannered, quiet chick. Get in that bedroom, though, and go to beating it up. Watch how much she like it. Y'all think they don't like this stuff. They like it, too. I told you, I've always dated quiet girls. I, I always like the little school girls, right? Mild-mannered type chicks. That's my type. And I can tell you, they can roll. Them girls throw down, bro. Girls ain't no joke. Don't let that mild man and shit fool you. Them girls ain't no joke. Them little librarians. That's why they have this, all these fantasy things about the naughty not librarian and all that shit. Where you think that shit come from? Where you think the whole joke about the PTA and the soccer mom and all this shit? Where you think it come from? These women don't be a joke. So you gotta understand that if you're gonna marry a female, you gotta understand that that is a female. And she has certain feelings. And these are the kinds of things that the women in these spaces that want to that wanna invade these men's spaces and talk to men, they should at least tell men also what goes on in the minds of women. They should, instead of, instead of something negative, and they make anything negative. Anything the woman feel or think, they turn it into a negative. We can't do that. It's not all negative. Sometimes it's nothing. Sometimes it's just getting understanding learning how they feel about things, learning how they see things, learning some of the things they want. Sometimes that's all it's about, but you need to hear it. Somebody got to tell it to you. That's why Brother Kush is here. I'm going to tell it to you, whether you like it or not. I'm going to give it to you raw, uncut. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to tell you, brothers, that y'all need to hear what these women are saying. Stop being so reactionary. Stop wanting a slave female. Stop wanting to step a wife. Stop wanting a wife like android robot type thing. You are dealing with human beings. You should learn to listen to them so you can understand them better. Because you still got to leave. You still got to be the man. But at least you know where she's coming from. Right now you dudes are so disconnected because y'all don't have it in y'all. You don't have it no more. You don't have that umph, that extra kick. So you trying to kill it in the woman. Don't do that. It's not going to work no way. So what you need to do is understand where they're coming from. Listen to them. Learn what they, how they see things so that you at least know what you need to do to correct it. If they're looking at something wrong, you know how to get it back in order. Remember, you are the sun and she rotates around you. But if you don't understand your planets, you can't keep them in orbit. You can't keep them in orbit. And that sun can keep more than one planet in orbit. That's why I had a polygynous family for eight years. That's why I was able to deal with all those women in an open relationship like I did. Well, it wasn't open as y'all think about, you know what I'm saying? A polygynous relationship. The, the reason why I was able to deal with these women like that is because I understood how to keep them in orbit. And it's not about force. Just like you don't see no strings attached in space from the sun to the planets. I don't have no, nothing attached to these women to keep them in orbit. It's a power that is unseen because it's spiritual. It's based on understanding. It's based on wisdom. That's how you keep it in order. It's from Allah. You have to learn how to deal with that female as a female species. And this is what the women in these red pill spaces should be giving to you brothers. They are failing y'all. They are doing nothing but pandering. They are catering to your weakness and exploiting that weakness for their own financial gain. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm out this bitch. I'm Brother Kush, AKA the Black Alpha. Salam.